Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about how to make pins, Pinterest pins, for your vintage Etsy shop or your vintage e-commerce shop. It doesn't matter where your shop is because we're talking about what's popular on Pinterest, not what's popular on whatever site you sell on Mercury, um, Mercury eBay, Etsy. You know, we want to know what's popular on Pinterest because we want to do that. So here we have um, collections of things seem to be popular. So we did the research the other day of what kind of pictures were popular and we found lifestyle, which these are lifestyle, right? They have something going on in the picture. Lifestyle are popular. White backgrounds are popular. So I would consider that kind of a white background. Um, two pictures stacked on top of each other, two pictures stacked with words in the middle, uh, kind of on scrapbook paper, on book pages to give that vintage look, for jewelry, hands and figures, uh, three up, just straight, and lifestyle with black square words, okay? So we're going to try to find some to make. So today we're going to start with just a lifestyle picture and we're going to make all of these on Canva. So this is a free website, canva.com. And what we want to do is we want to search for Pinterest graphic to start. Okay, so this is a plain Jane two to three. Remember we said that the normal Pinterest size is two to three. So you have a couple of options here. We're just trying to do, you know, this is just gonna be a picture. So we don't need any of these fancy templates that we could have picked. We're just gonna go with a picture. Oh, and here comes the good news. You should have at least three pictures, three different pictures for each listing to be able to pin to Pinterest. Now don't freak out, we have ways to schedule that. We're gonna talk about that later, but you wanna have at least three pictures for each listing, three different pictures, because Pinterest wants us to have different pictures. They don't want us to just repeatedly pin that same one over and over. So we're gonna come over here on the left to uploads. We're gonna click upload because these are our pictures, right? So I'm gonna to go to my pictures, my product pictures, my bird vase picture, and they said first we want a lifestyle picture. Okay. So here is a lifestyle picture. I'm going to just drag it over here. And then I want to pull it out so that that little bit on the edge isn't there. Okay. I like how that looks. That's a lifestyle picture. Maybe go a little bit further. Let's see. Adjust. Well, well, I guess I'm stuck with it. So we'll just leave it like that. I think you can double click on it. Unclick the adjust, double click on it. And I can kind of get that edge over there. Get a little centered. Right, now I can pull it down, kind of arrange it a teeny bit. And I didn't do anything to this. Usually I um, do them in Photoshop, but for today we're gonna do them in here. And then I do want to adjust, you may want to filter. There's, there's like, you may pick a filter for everything you like on your pictures. And, uh, ooh, gosh, those are not my, drama, drama. Those are not my idea of it. I would rather adjust it here. So I always want to put the saturation up a teeny bit. I like my, my pictures on my Pinterest are really saturated. And because there's a little bit of a brightness issue in my, um, where I take my pictures, I always have to do the brightness a teeny bit. And that's kind of why I have to do the saturation because I'm taking a little bit out of the color out with the brightness. And then I put a little bit in with, you don't want to change the color of the piece, but this is a very pretty vase. Okay, and then you upping the contrast a little just makes your lines a little crisper. It's not going to do anything exciting. Now, I don't usually mess with tint. See, tint is going to change the color of your stuff, and that's usually bad. I don't know what X process is. 
I don't like it. And vignette is if you wanted to make the outsides like, here, I'll show you, brown, right? That's that vignette thing. Now, most of Pinterest is light and bright. So the more we can get light and bright, that's going to be good. So I really like this. And this is going to be my first one that I'm going to name up here in the middle. And I'm going to name it Bird Vase. Let's do yellow bird vase because I have a lot of bird vases. Yellow bird vase lifestyle. Okay. And then I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to not say publish to Pinterest right now. I'm going to say download. And then I want a PNG. And I'm so I'm going to download that one. Now I want to have three pictures for this, right? So one they said that we could do from our research the other day was a white background one. So I'm going to come over here to lifestyle, to my uploads, and I'm going to upload an image, and I'm going to pick one of my white ones. Mm, I guess this is the whitest one. White one. My white ones aren't very white. I brighten them in Photoshop. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to show you how you can get really close. We're not trying to make this a job, right? We have to, um, so I'm going to delete this back one because we already used it. And then we're going to do this and we're going to get this nice and big. I'm not trying to make this a job. I have a job. I'm an Etsy seller. I do all kinds of stuff. But I am trying to make these nice enough that somebody may want to click on them in Pinterest. So now I have a white background. I don't have a completely white background for mine. Um, I guess you could go to, there's a site called PhotoFuse. Photo fuse, photo fuse, and it is F O T O F U Z E, and they will take the background out of it um, for you. Now, I think unless you pay them, uh, no, I know how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to add a picture, I'm going to upload photo, I'm going to upload my bird. Let's see if it makes a difference, right? Highlight your item. So you're supposed to highlight your item. So we're going to just highlight my little bird here. Do, 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 right? And if you keep clicking down, finish. And that looks right, right? Takes about a minute. I'll be right back. So there would be a completely white background. And then I could say download, downloading photo. It says image 1116. So let's upload an image. Is it on my desktop or my delete me's? It's in my delete me's. We're going to pull that over. Oh, it's about the same size, right? So maybe that's how I would do it for just a plain white one. Now, is it perfect? There's no, there's little nibbles around the bottom or whatever. But think about it. When you're going th through this feed, you're just cruising. You're just trying to look for something to catch your eye. And I do feel like that would be enough to catch your eye if you were doing it. Now, let's really adjust it a little bit. We don't, do we need the brightness up a little bit? I don't know. Now that we don't have the rest of it there, we may not need the brightness. I always like contrast. We're going to saturate it a little bit. Uh, I don't want to change the tint or anything else. I'm going to say change the name to yellow bird vase white, right? White background. And I'm going to say download. Okay, so I have two now. Yay. Yay me. And so Canva Pro free. The biggest reason to have Canva Pro is if you're a real company that has brand colors, that works with multiple people and all that. I haven't found that I needed to pay for Canva. Now you do pay for stock photos if you wanted to buy stock photos, but because we have pictures of our products, we don't need stock photos. Okay, now we get to the hardest one. So we're going to go back home. And now I want to make one of these other ones that we had, like two up word with words in middle, okay? 
And let's see if we can find something that looks like that. Uh, I'm going to say vintage vase. <laughs> so here's three up, no words in the middle. Maybe we'll go with three up, no words in the middle. I don't see a lot of words, so maybe for this one we won't do, well, I want to do words because I want to show you how they work, okay? You may or may not find that your, your um, there's words right there. So this is kind of a little, gr little gray background, and we've seen that the other day with uh, pictures with black words, but we're going to use gray words, so, and we're going to do two up. So now we're going to go back to Canva, and now I want to create a design with custom dimensions, okay? Because I want it to be tall enough that I can put my two pictures together and then have words in the middle. So I want it to be 750 wide, and then I want it to be twice as tall. Sorry about that. So we're going to make it 750 wide and then 1 1,500 tall, okay? And we're going to say create a new design. So now we have a tall one and we're going to put two up with maybe words right in those banners in the middle. But we need to get our pictures. So here's my two pictures. It's my first picture, right? Nice picture. All right. Do, 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 do. And because of how my setup is, a lot of times I will have to crop it. Okay, so now I'm going to crop it. Let's do this. All right, how do we crop? Oh, we just crop with this. Nice. Okay, and then we'll say done. And that made that good. We're going to say crop. And we're going to do, I got to move it a little bit so I can see it. I'm going to cancel that. Okay, let's get it the way I want it. I don't know why I can't move this up. I just have way too much at this top. What happens if we do? Well, gosh, that was awfully easy. <laughs> Dope. Okay, so I want this to be up here. And I like that we can adjust that later. And then I need to upload another picture because when I was taking my pictures... I took a totally different picture of this same item. Nope, bird vase. Well, totally different. Slightly different. There were no um, books in the background, but it's going to be different enough that it's not going to look like the same picture, right? Um, so we're going to drag this over here. Sweet. I like the light on the top. So we're going to put the light on the top and the dark on the bottom. Just from a design standpoint, you want the heavy part of your picture to be on the bottom. I know it seems weird, but it works. Okay, so we want to get in enough so we can see our little birdie. Get him up here. Okay, so let's do that down and this up. Okay, that's about even. Like I said, we're not going for perfect. We just want to have a couple of things. And now let's uh, adjust this a little bit. So we want our brightness a teeny bit brighter. We want our saturation a teeny bit more saturated. And we want our contrast a little bit more saturated. Perfect. This turned out to be lighter. Let's see. Do we need to lighten this again? Okay. There we go. That's closer. Close enough for going to work. Now, this isn't going to be on my listing. I'm not trying to fool anybody. I just want to get them to my listing, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to put that little gray box in the middle. So there's that little gray box, you know, with the words in it like this one had, little words in it. Okay, so we're doing this, we're doing this, we're going to have plenty of room for our little gray box, we're not going to go quite to the edge, right, we're going to come over here, 
Now, to me, that's darker gray than the gray box. So let's see what we need to do, if that's it. Um, now, from a design standpoint, I would love to have it match the color of my flowers, right? I would love to have it be beautiful in my design aesthetic. But what I'm doing is, I don't care what my design aesthetic is. I want to do it the same way of things that Pinterest thinks is a good design aesthetic. So now we need something like Times Roman with capital letters. So now we need to put a text box in and we're going to add a subheading because we don't have a huge one. And we're going to say vintage base. Uh, vintage bird vase. I gotta think of something better than that. Okay, anyways, we're gonna make our font a little bit bigger. We're gonna say unique, I need my caps, unique vintage vase. Oh, that fits too, good, okay. Now, and they use white text, so let's make our text white. White, unique vintage vase. And let's see if there's anything interesting about our vase. Um, I want to look at the bottom. Our... <laughs> Need my daughter. She has better eyes than I do. Um, royal... So if I could figure out what that said, which I probably could, I might put that in, um, I might put that in, um, these were all made in Jer or, uh, Japan, uh, unique vintage vase, and then, so when we look here, there's a smaller, um, words underneath shop now, okay. Not trying to, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm just trying to do what they have. So I'm just going to click on my thing. I'm going to say copy, paste. I'm going to make this here. I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to probably move this whole thing up a little bit so it's not so crowdy. Okay. And then I'm going to say add a little bit of body text. Then I'm going to say shop now. And I need like a, um, this kind of, and I don't want it to all be caps because that bottom one was not all caps. Shop now. Okay. My little words go. Let's move them up here. Let's make them a little bit bigger. There we go. Cool. And that is, I can maybe move this down a skosh. To move both of them at the same time, I'm hitting the shift key and selecting each one. There you go. Okay. And so I'm going to call this Two up bird vase. And I'm going to say publish, download, PNG. And now I have three different pins I can pin. I have the plain white one. I have the lifestyle one. And I have the two up vintage vase. Okay. So that seems like it took a lot of time, especially for this two up vintage vase, right? Here is where the magic happens. Okay. So now we're going to go back home. When you come here to your designs, it's thinking. Give it a minute. I'll have a drink.
see, I have made all kinds of templates. So you could just make templates if you wanted. I make all kinds of templates in here where I have them totally blank. But if you don't even want to do that, hang on one second, you can just go to this one, say make a copy. Now you have two of these. We're going to click on that and we're going to say two up and then let's do something else. We're going to say upload, upload an image. We're going to get out of our bird vase because, you know, and we're going to look at Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so this is a really cool train door stop. So we're going to pull this right in there. See, and now I need to make this smaller because I actually want this to show up in here, right? So there's that. And we'll adjust it. And we always need to up the brightness a teeny bit on my stuff because my room is dark. And then the saturation a little bit. Nice. And then the contrast a little bit. Perfect. And then we're going to take this one out, right? And we're going to pull this one in here. And part of the problem is this one's over top that one. So I can say position to back. Right. And then what I want to do is I want to, I want to show the close up of this because Pinterest also likes close ups. And then we need to adjust it again. So we're going to say brightness a little bit brighter. Uh, saturation a little bit more saturated and contrast a little bit more contrasty and then we're gonna say awesome railroad door stop that one. we can say old railroad oh no oh it'll fit old railroad door stop fits perfect shop now and then I could just say download and uh-oh, uh-oh, stop, Danger Will Robinson, two up, train, door stop, right? So yeah, it took us a couple minutes on that first one, but now we know that we could make all different kinds of designs for our vintage products and then just pop our stuff in there. Let's go to our thing. There you go, right? So now as we're going, we can, even as we're, you know, taking our pictures, uploading our listings, we can be putting those into um, like a, I, what I would do is make a little folder of Pinterest images so that when you're ready to do them, we'll be able to do that later. And, um, yeah, so hopefully that helps. If you haven't yet watched the What to Pin to Pinterest for Vintage Sellers, there's a video there that tells you how to find how we did the research about what kinds of pins we needed to make, and I will make sure to link that below. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe, and if you um, like this video especially, please make sure to hit the thumbs up. That really does help, and it makes me make more videos because people like it. All right, talk to you later. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.